say thank you so much for a hundred a hundred followers i mean subscribers yay hi guys welcome back to my channel i just wanted to start market prepping with y'all this will i'll do weekly vlogs maybe they may not be that good i don't know we'll see i plan on doing a week of crochet this week um technically it started sunday but whatever i have a market coming up at the end of this month on the 28th which is a sunday it's the same market i went to last time and um I have a market in June, which is Pride Fest, which that one is huge. So I have to start market prepping now if I want a lot of inventory by then, because I'm just starting out. I don't have a bunch of stuff, you know? I kind of already started. I have the list. This is the list. It's something to do every day of the week, um, starting from huge to small. The first thing was like a Nessie or like a dragon, which I was supposed to do that yesterday, Sunday, but I ended up doing it Saturday. Here it is. This is the biggest thing I've ever crocheted in my whole entire life. And I'm so proud of it. It's so cute. Like, what? And then it has sparkly green eyes. But yeah, I plan on taking this to my market. And hopefully she sells, but I mainly want the bigger stuff there to um, have as like an eye grabber, you know. And I definitely think this will catch some attention for sure. It is so freaking cute. I love it. But also, if you want to buy it, I'll have it on my Etsy linked below. So yeah, that was the first thing I had to do. I also have some commissions sprinkled in here and there, so I finished one commission which here it is it's this watermelon hat for juneteenth someone requested from me i'll show you how it looks on don't look at my ear oh i still have to weave the ends so ignore that but this is so cute i actually created this myself other than the granny square the hat is constructed by me and i think it's so freaking cute so yeah that was the commission i have one more hat commission i have to do at some point this week and then i have a cow a strawberry cow but i have to get yarn for that because i do not have enough white yarn to do the full cow commission which is fine so now today's agenda is to do a cow I don't know if it'll be as big as that strawberry cow. I do want to do another one, but I think after doing the one for the commission, it might, I might, might just do a smaller one. And if push comes to shove, I'll do two, if it doesn't take me that long. I already have the pattern I want to use pulled up. It's a pretty small cow, like probably this big. This pattern I'm going to use is by Cosins QA. I think that's how you say it. Dot handmade. I think on Instagram. Found it on Etsy. So yeah. Now I just have to figure out what colors I'm gonna use. Cause I'm not gonna use white. I'm gonna use white with a five millimeter hook. I'm gonna use a smaller yarn than is what than what's needed. I hope it doesn't turn out super tiny. That would be very unfortunate. Or should I use a slightly bigger hook, like a six? Do I have a 5.5? I do have a 5.5. Okay, so I'm gonna use this 5.5. I guess I can use this light pink for like the spots and patches and the feet and stuff. Okay, so crocheting all the little pieces took me two hours and eight minutes. And I still haven't even sewn all of them together. So 
I just have to sew them all together. That might take about 30 minutes. And then I'll be finished. So we are Okay, I'm finished with the cow. Here it is. It's so cute. It's so cute. And it is a fat upgrade to my first cow. she a little wonky <laughs> she's very wonky but we are upgrading i wouldn't say this is perfect but we're getting there oops i feel like too i'm getting a lot better at sewing and stuff this is a hot mess <laughs> this is a hot mess i have nothing left to do tonight my coworker did order the strawberry turtle that I have, so I'm gonna pack that up to make sure I have it for her tomorrow. And I'm, I know I said I ain't gonna do nothing else, but I might just do a mini black octo for her, cause I know she likes black. And I've been telling her I'm gonna do her octo, so I'm gonna just include that in her order. But yeah, other than that, I will see y'all in the morning. Not in the morning, but tomorrow. Hello guys, I'm back again. I have literally probably the same exact outfit on, but I swear to God, it's another day. I got off, I just got off of work. Well, just got home from work. Got off at four, it's now 6, 15. And I started crocheting. Um, on my list today was actually a turtle, but I didn't want to do a turtle. And this was the yarn I brought to work. So I just decided to start on a mushroom guy. Here it is. It's a free pattern and I think it's so freaking cute so yeah it's gonna be a little big so yeah it has overalls i'm tired of saying so yeah so i'm not gonna do that i messed up because i was supposed to do the arms first so i did have to cut the yarn but i'll reattach it once i finish the arms and then i can finish the decrease one more decreasing row and then put the arms on it imagine if the arms were this small that would be crazy but yeah this is how much yarn I have left. I might have more in this color, but I highly, highly, highly doubt it. So it will be a shame if I do not finish this with the rest of this yarn. So let's hope and pray that I can. Okay, so the arms are finished. It didn't take me long at all. They're so long. But yeah, now I just have to attach this and then do the head. I don't know how long this is gonna take me, but I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, unfortunately, I most definitely lost the game of yarn chicken here. And the craziest thing about this is that I just went to Hobby Lobby and Michaels and I did not think to pick up more of this color because I thought I literally had enough. I thought I literally had enough. But let me look at the pattern. I just dropped my, my tripod, it's okay. Ah, uh, cause I'm like depending on the pattern and where his eyes are, I can probably get away with switching the color, but I don't have any color similar, similar, what the heck? I don't have a color similar to this in the same like weight. So if I was to switch, cause I just bought, I bought this cream it's not white it's cream i just bought this cream color now i'm like but yeah i got that cream color and i'm like if i could just put it i could start it here but it's a different weight so it's gonna look different than using this weight because this is weight five and this is weight six 
I want it to be cohesive, so I'm just gonna have to wait until I get this color again, which is like an ivory color. It's so cute, it's turning out so nice, and I think I'm gonna love it. It's gonna have some little overalls. I could do the overalls now, but honestly, I'm over it, and I'm gonna work on something else. What that is, I don't know. I'll show you the yarn I bought though. Obviously, I got this um, Loops and Threads yarn to size six and the color is winter white and then this is the yarn it's the yarn bee from hobby lobby and the weight five got black more green because i'm gonna have to do leggy frogs eventually i got a color i had never gotten before which is gray i want to do a possum or the little mouse that be crying with the bows <laughs> Got some of this cream colored yarn for a commission. Then this red loops and threads. That's what I plan on doing with these two is the chunky mushrooms. I'm regretting that I used a yarn bee for this cause if I would have just waited, I would have been able to finish it with these two. But I like the color that this guy's in, so I don't regret it. I think next things on my list is two cat ear beanies. And yeah, let me see what else, hold on. So yeah, it's two cat ear beanies. And then the next couple days is gonna be like clothes and beans. So it's like, do I wanna open that can of worms right now? Or do I wanna keep crocheting and grooming? I have a bunch of free patterns saved on my phone. And I'm trying to see what I can make. Here's the possum. I have the correct yarn to make the possum. If I wanted to. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna do a dino. I've always wanted to do a dino. I don't know if I should do a stegosaurus or a tyrannosaurus. I'm just gonna do a tyrannosaurus. Be a swan, this free pattern. Um, I think I have to buy it. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find the free pattern on Pinterest real quick. And then I'm gonna do it with these colors. The pattern is only a dollar something from, what's your name? Where is it? King Maker. So I'm just gonna buy it and call it a day and get started. Cause I've been wanting to make a dino for so long. Not gonna lie, this is looking a hot mess. Oh, but I'm gonna see it through and finish it, but I'm probably not gonna sell it. If I do sell it, it's gonna be discounted because it's looking wonky. Look at that. Like what? The head is like, it looks okay from the side. But the head from the front is very wonky. It's very... <sighs> and then like the bottom, like, it just, it wasn't good to begin with. Like I had a hard time understanding the pattern at the beginning. So that just kind of, and then the tail, I didn't understand how to do that. It wasn't very clear to me. If I do this again or try it again, maybe if there was a video involved. But other than that, I really wanted to do a dinosaur, but clearly it's just not for me. Can't even stand up. So I don't even, honestly, I said I'm gonna see it through, but I'm not even gonna put the little horn spikes on it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Cause you can't even stand up. That's what's killing me. Yeah, here it is. It looks a mess and <sighs> 
and I'm giving up today. I'm not doing no more. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Hello guys. I'm feeling a little today. There's just a bunch going on. My car, it's very sad that I don't have my car right now because it broke down. And it's getting fixed currently, so I probably won't have it till the weekend. Anyway, um, also crochet projects have not been going well. Um, I haven't started anything new today. And what you seen last was where I left off with the, the dinosaur. I don't like how it came out. It's lopsided as you can see and wonky. Um, I probably could have finessed it if I moved the eyes, but it's too late. We're here now. I don't like it, but Crochet by Jenna just released a new pattern. Pattern, and I definitely bought it quick AF. Um, and I wanted to try it because this is so cute. And I already did my little Nessie well, not little, my Nessie. Kinda messy dragon, I don't know. Either way, I think this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm supposed to do hats today, but I can't even care to, I don't know, I just wanna do something that's gonna make me happy because I feel, eh. Just go ahead and use this blue, just cause I know I'll have enough of this teal color. We'll figure out what the detailing how we want the detailing to look. It'll probably be in this dark blue. Or I could pick a different color like purple or this dark purple or like a peach. We'll see. Hi guys, it's the next day. Hence the wig change. It's 5-12. I'm off of work and dragon I was working on. Sorry, I do not have updated progress on that because we ended up sitting and watching a movie and I crocheted a little bit, then I went to sleep. Um, brought it with me to work. Worked on it a little bit on my break. Sorry, I'm like fidgety. Worked on it a little bit for my break and then I ended up finishing it on the way home in the car. So here it is. Oh my God. It's so freaking cute. Like I am so proud of this actually. I am like actually very proud of it. I was thinking about adding something to the tail maybe. Cause the tail just seems so bare. So I'm like maybe like a heart or something. I don't know, we'll see. But I am absolutely in love with this. I want to do this in every single color ever. Because I just think it's so freaking cute. But yeah, I'm very happy about this. Today, I got something in the mail. I got these dog squeakers, which is a two-parter to like a commission. Um, I also got, hold on. I got crinkle paper. So if you're not guessed, if you haven't guessed yet, I'm gonna be making a strawberry cow as a dog toy. A commission someone asked me for and they asked if I could put squeakers in it and this crinkle paper, which I'm very excited to do that. Extremely excited to do that. And I cannot wait to see how it turns out. But yeah, um, Lily, I ain't gonna lie, I've been a little overwhelmed because trying to keep up with Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, as well as making my commissions, as well as making inventory for the market, as well as posting that stuff, updating my website, getting my brand together and my logos and all that stuff. It is very, 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 very overwhelming. But I'm trying to stick through it and just be optimistic. As well as just not being able to finish what? Well, I tried to do this dino. I will try to do it again. It didn't turn out. It, it's pretty bad. It's bad. But it's not 
horrible it could be worse not being able to like get my projects right this week has made me a bit sad but finishing this has gave me some more hope and i'm just excited to see what else i can make i i want to do a bunch of these oh my god you don't understand like i at least want i probably want at least one or two more of these for my next market and when i do my market for pride no i think i'm thinking about doing some rainbow colors here and then maybe some rainbow sprinkle um wings i don't know we'll see but i love this pattern what was on my schedule yesterday and today is a cat ear beanie which i think i'm up for doing honestly but i've just been having so much fun doing amigurumi <laughs> and it's like what if i just kept doing more what if i just kept doing more <laughs> on my schedule today i want to get pictures of this guy and i want to make a video for reels with this guy i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna schedule some of my videos edit them and then i'll start on the cat ear beanie or let's see my start on this commission because i said i'll have it sent out by sunday at the latest which that's a lot of time considering it's about to be the weekend. So I'm not stressing that too much. Let me look at my schedule actually. See, I have a cow. I said a medium turtle on here, but I ended up doing this, which I might still do a medium turtle. Um, and then I have the mushroom guy. So that overcompensates for all my larger projects. And then I have cat ear beanies too. I have two, three tops, two shrugs. Truth be told, I might just skip the tops. Because I feel like tops for me don't really sell well. So I don't even know why I have three on there. So I mean like, and when I say tops, I mean tank tops. So I might just do shrugs. I might switch them to do them on different days so I can do more amigurumi because I love doing them so much. Let me do my little errands and do a photo shoot for this guy and then I'll be back. Hello, I just went on a little walk and then I started making a cat ear hat, which I did not finish. It's not even halfway done, but it's like a quarter of the way done. Um, I know I'm, oh, first and foremost, before I get into anything else, I want to say thank you so much for a hundred. a hundred followers i mean subscribers yay i appreciate y'all so much and in return i'm gonna be doing a giveaway for three winners each will receive a leggy frog of your color choice in green yellow hot pink blue lavender purple or um black yeah so it's future say here and i just wanted to let y'all know that i got the dates wrong on this video this video will be going out sunday the 14th um which is tomorrow that is when the giveaway starts so comment down below what your favorite crochet projects are or what your favorite thing you've ever crocheted is and that'll be your entry into the giveaway also you must be 18 years or older and live in the u.s to participate and the giveaway will end in a week from then so next sunday whatever day that is but yeah i will be posting a video announcing the winners and y'all have to reach out to me so i know i said i was gonna do the cow i have time to do the cow the cow is not gonna take me 10 days to do it's gonna take me not even four hours to do so i have a whole nother commission i have to do which is a hat <laughs> i don't know why i put it in the back of my brain and have not thought about it but 
I'm about to do it now. It's just the fact that I have to do more granny squares and uh, I'm doing like roses on the granny squares. So I need like six granny squares to do the hat, which is, oh. but yeah, I, I don't know if I bought the pattern or not already. I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna buy it and then I can start doing it really don't want to but oh we have to we have to i have the granny square this is it right here yeah the pattern is by mushy store with two eyes yeah i'm just gonna have to get started good morning guys it is 9 15 in the morning um on friday i did not go to work today i just have a lot on my brain too much going on stuff to do yeah so today is a day that i feel needs to be productive so yeah um sorry about last night last night i ended up i ended up eating after i started the granny square and then my stomach started hurting really bad so i ended up going to sleep um but i woke up this morning and i finished the granny square it's freaking huge but it's so cute so basically what this is gonna be is a hat look how this turned out oh wow but yeah so um, I'm just I'm just doing this one and then I'll do more maybe later. I don't know if I'm gonna finish the hat today or not. We'll see. I don't have a particular schedule or order I want to do things. I never do. Disclaimer: I have ADHD and a whole bunch of other mental things going on. So I'm not the most organized person when it comes to figuring this stuff out. The most organized you're gonna get from me is this this list I made for every day, figuring out what I'm gonna make for the market on the 28th. But yeah, I'm gonna start taking my photos outside. The lighting is just always better. My lighting in here is so terrible, so trash. So I think what I'm gonna do that won't take me all freaking day is finish one of my commissions, which is what I was supposed to do last night, the strawberry cow. Cause I actually do have enough yarn to finish everything. So I'm gonna use the cream yarn, where is it? This is like a cream off white. I don't know, I don't think you can tell much of a difference. Either way, it's for a doggy. So I don't think she really minds it, but I'll make sure send her update pictures and stuff. see I went to Hobby Lobby and then I got more yarn so I could finish this mushroom guy with the overalls which I'm almost finished I just have to do the red top and then do the overalls but today took a turn first of all I got my car back so happy about that but while I was out um on my way to go get my car one of my mutuals was like oh they have a cat and no one's claiming it at their apartment but he's really sweet and she cannot get anybody to take him so i was like ooh i've been wanting a cat um for a long time i've been actually stocking up on like little cat toys and supplies for when I do get a cat because I was planning to get one in the summertime after EDC which that's another thing I got my EDC tickets and I'll show y'all that at some point but I was like I'll take the cat so 
I was gonna get it tomorrow. She was like, she can't keep him. She, he has to be gone by 12 p.m. tomorrow. So I was gonna get him tomorrow, but then she was like, I actually can drop him off to you now. <sighs> Y'all, I have a cat. <laughs> and he's right here. He is the sweetest baby ever. Like, he is so sweet, so calm. Look at him. Ah, he's so cute. He's, I'm sure he's been stressed today with all the moving around. This is the baby. He's sleepy, baby. Sleep, baby. Oh. Look at the bees. Y'all, I am in love and I'm so happy. Like, <laughs> but yeah, so that is where I'm at. My new official day of posting YouTube videos will be on Sundays as long as as well as my website restocks so I'm trying to be a little more organized with that kind of have an idea of that in the back of my head so that's cool also here is let me turn the camera around this is my EC tickets it looks so cool I've never been to EC before so yeah, I got some cards, a keychain, a bunch of stickers, and then I have my pass in here. And then there's a book. But yeah, this is so crazy to me. Like they're so extra for this. I guess y'all can watch me while I crush the rest of this mushroom guy. It's literally so late. It's like 10:30. But I'm up. I'm happy. I have a cat. <laughs> and I think I'm I can finish it before I get tired. Finally finished with the mushroom guy. Here he is. <laughs> he is so cute. This little mushroom top. And his overalls. This took me way longer than I expected, but I'm happy I'm finished. And I think it came out so cute. So I'm gonna call it quits tonight. And I will see you guys in the morning. Hello guys, good morning. It is Saturday, about to be 11 a.m. I finished the cow. Here is the strawberry cow. It's so freaking cute. Oh, so it's a dog toy, so. And then the head too. Yeah, so. And then it's crinkles, the feet, the strawberries, and the nose. It doesn't have that much in there, but it's in there. Um, I had a time doing this freaking cow. It turned out cute still. I had a time doing this cow because I, I didn't realize till today that I did not put the safety eyes in so when I grabbed the cow to like sew all the details on I was like mind you the head is like sewn up so like <laughs> there was no eyeballs <laughs> but I managed I used a really big hook right here to kind of sorry there's gnats it's the summertime I'm in Memphis I use this really big hook to kind of dig in there to get some space and then I put the backing in there and I just made sure not to lose it and I like put the eye in and like snapped it in so 
I definitely put the eyes slightly like a row lower, which made it, the nose is usually bigger than this. So I had to undo a row on the nose so that it did not look crazy. So now it looks pretty normal and it came out so cute. But yeah, this is a commission, so I'm gonna pack it up. Um, I don't have any fancy packaging, unfortunately, so I'm probably just gonna use an Amazon box that I got. Yeah, I'll probably pack it up in like one of those thank you bags that's really cute write a cute note in it i don't have any business cards yet so can't do that but yeah he is off he is so freaking precious i love him with all of my heart i am torn on two names to name this cat we're thinking of either cow or moo cow moo I don't know, he doesn't respond to you. He's such a sweet boy, he is very clingy. Like, the amount of times I was sitting here crocheting and he just hop up in my lap to cuddle me or like I'll sit down. He like slept with me last night and everything. It was so freaking precious. And I'm like, oh my God, we just met last night and you're already like so comfortable. Love that for him, honestly. I was so nervous he was not gonna like it here. But he seems to like like it pretty well. So I'm I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna get ready for that. So I'll probably unfortunately won't be doing much crocheting today. Which honestly, that's fine. But yeah. So this video will be posted tomorrow on Sunday. I think this is the end of it. Make sure you comment down below your favorite crochet item or like favorite thing you've ever crocheted to enter into the giveaway where i'll be announcing next sunday winner so yeah and the prize is a lady froggy in your color of choice but yeah make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video